Hey everybody, welcome back to Guns and Gadgets, your source for Second Amendment news. Uh, two new bills were signed into law into Hawaii, and you need to know about them. Uh, the first, uh, I'll have the I'll have the bills in the description if you wanted to take a peek at those. But the first one is SB uh, 1466, and both of these were signed into law by Hawaii Governor David Ug, I G. I don't know how to say it, but um, he's a very anti-gun guy. Uh, but SB 1466 is the red flag. Red flag is now a law in Hawaii, um, and uh, they're calling it the Gun Violence Protection Orders because it sounds different than every other state. Uh, but uh, their version of the red flag allows third-party people to uh, make allegations to remove your Second Amendment right. Uh, it would allow for co-workers, educators, medical professionals, or family members to uh, say that you are at risk of hurting yourself or others, and a judge can determine at a secret hearing that you're not allowed to be at, uh, that your Second Amendment right could be stripped for a year. Now, under the Hawaii bill, which is now law, you can petition the court to have a hearing at which you would have to prove uh, beyond reasonable doubt that you are not a risk, but that person making the allegation could also show up and ask for that extension uh, of the order for another year. Um, so it's the deck is stacked against people in Hawaii and just got worse. The other bill that was signed by the governor is SB 600. SB 600, uh, it has to do with changing the age, the minimum age of having a firearm in Hawaii. But they did something different that no other state has done as of yet. Uh, so this law now uh, forebodes anybody who is under 21 from visiting Hawaii with a firearm. So that includes... Uh, if you're bringing one and you're moving to the state, can't do that. Uh, if you're going to the state for a hunting expedition, you know, if you're going to hunt, I don't know, pterodactyls at Jurassic Park, can't do that. Uh, you can't buy a firearm if you're under 21. Currently, there were no restrictions prior to yesterday when the governor signed this stuff. But now, if you're under 21 in Hawaii, they have just removed your constitutional right to keep and bear arms because it makes them feel fuzzy and warm. Now, these bills were forced in, or backed, monetarily, by uh, Every Town and Moms Demand Action and Giffords and the typical uh, people who always back these bills. So Hawaii is the next state to implement the red flag law. Uh, it's coming, guys and gals. I've been telling you for a couple of years here on the channel now that uh, this stuff was in the works by Michael Bloomberg, and it is sweeping across the country. It's made its way all the, all the way to Hawaii, and uh, there's a very good chance your state could be next. Uh, they're all talking about it. Some of the states have beaten it, but it will come back. It'll be back in November, and those states who have uh, not had one or may have might have defeated it, but they will be back. So make sure you do your best to stay vigilant because it will come back and rear its ugly head. Uh, that's the news out of Hawaii. Please pass this along. I appreciate your time. Well, you know, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Until we see each other again, be safe, stay vigilant, and carry your weapon. Take care, everybody.